hello there dear friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching brighton against liverpool full of drama 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 and stupidity mope or mopi or whatever you want to pronounce his name i don't like the guy to be honest with you because this is not the first time that he does those kind of stupidity he always misses penalties he always getting in some kind of trouble red card here and there and he's just like a dirty kind of a player i really don't like him and that is just my opinion how can you miss such a penalty i don't understand that and after that maybe he faked that injury so he can get out the field and said i wasn't good when i took that penalty but who told you to take the damn penalty if you knew you were not good you should have uh, asked for somebody else to take the penalty anyways it is what it is that guy need to be taken away from brighton because brighton have nobody to blame but themselves thanks goodness they got another penalty in the stoppage time and they scored the right player took the penalty and he scored that what you supposed to do if you're gonna miss a damn penalty at least shoot on target and mope can't do that now let's talk about the elephant in the room the var for me i am not a liverpool fan but if i was a liverpool fan i would be filming by now that offside i don't know how they calculate their offside but i think that was a goal for me that wasn't an offside if you are going to always count half an inch as an offside and then this is not football anymore the second goal that was taken away was an offside of course and you know the header from sadio money so that was correct you can see clearly but the first goal that offside wasn't offside and that is just my opinion and i don't want to be biased here one one at the end and for me i think brighton drop point because they had more clear chances that they couldn't finish their chances today well back what are you doing brother how many chances should you have before scoring a damn goal and yes i know he won the penalty but it's not enough because he had so many clear chances that he didn't take so i feel like two points dropped for both teams brighton deserves to win this game due to clear chances that they had and liverpool also you don't give them those kind of space and chances because they are very clinical they took their chance through diego or Die diogo jota excuse me wow what a guy man that guy is turning to be the signing of the season i hate to say that but i think they made the right decision they got a better option more clinical and a cheaper option than timo verna or kai harvard you know what i mean so diogo jota is going to prove people wrong because many people didn't really believe including liverpool fans themselves yeah they are saying all the good stuff about uh, jota now but i remember back then when they were making their shows you know they are broadcasting all that they were not happy at all that they missed out on big names and went to buy somebody like uh, diogo jota he's really showing people that uh, sometimes you just need uh, a good player to make him world class and klopp showed us over and over that he can make a good player a world class player he did it with uh, sadio mani mo salah they were good players in their club but 
when they came to play for Klopp, he turned them to world class. That's what uh, uh, Klopp is all about. And you have also to congratulate their uh, recruitment department because they they work with scientists, doctors, all kind of intelligent people to find the right player not always a big name but the player that is going to fit like a glove in the system congratulations to them and also congratulations to diogo jota it's gonna be interesting to see at the end of the season who is going to be the golden boot in the premier league i think diogo jota is going to be a serious candidate now it's getting even more interesting in the premier league because if somebody win between chelsea and and um, tottenham tomorrow they are going top of the league wow that makes uh, the london derby tomorrow even more interesting yeah more motivation now if you win tomorrow you are top of the league if tottenham win tomorrow they are going two point or three point i don't know how many points clear on top and if chelsea wins tomorrow they are going maybe one point clear on top there so tomorrow is going to be the title challenge game if you ask me that is just my opinion I know it's too early to start talking about the title, but when you take advantage on your direct opponent, it's a feel-good factor and that is going to help you mentally fight and challenge for the title. I hope Chelsea can do the job on Spurs tomorrow and be on top of the league and start really fighting for the title. Go you Blues. Anyways guys, the Premier League is very open this season. Liverpool are struggling with injuries, but they still have quality players on their bench too. And very soon, Trent is coming back. Thiago Alcantara is coming back and in the defense they will be only missing Van Dijk so there is no excuses because they can do the job if they don't do the job and then don't blame anybody else Chelsea were struggling with all kind of injuries last season and nobody wanted them to give any excuse it's time for Liverpool to show us what they are made of Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. God bless you and see you in the next one.